What's up everybody, Basic Ali, I'm back. Yes, it's the morning time. I just woke up and I don't give a flying duck. Ah, uh, that's right. Anyway, good morning to everybody and I know some of you are on another side of the world and uh, it's not the morning time, but come on now, I'm not going to sit there and check time zones. It's the morning here, so it's the morning wherever else, right? Uh, good morning to myself, good morning to everybody else. Anyway, today's video... It's going to be based on a uh, article that we have at thebeardspot.com. It's an article that was written by Samuel uh, Beckwith III. So I'd appreciate it if you guys checked it out. I'm going to put a link down below so you guys can check it out. And it's about DHT inhibitors because that's a very common um, subject. And daily, 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 every minute, every second, people ask about these things. Is this a DHT blocker? Is this a DHT blocker? Um, well... Sam took the time to make this article, so uh, after watching his rant video where he was triggered, I decided to say, hey, I'm going to help Sam out and um, read his article out loud so people uh, stop asking him because he got triggered. Now I'm playing. He, he was doing it for fun. He had fun. He loves answering questions, but um, we have the article out there, so I figured we'd make a video for it just to uh, give it a little push. Anyway, uh... So I'm going to read out the list of DHT inhibitors that Sam wrote. And it's really cool. It's really neat because it looks like he took his time making this list. It's uh, it's an alphabetical order and it's got the percentages of uh, <clears throat> how potent it is. Um, how, how potent it is as a DHT inhibitor. So it's really good. It's really good for you guys. And you would be surprised. There's a lot of oils in that list that are commonly used. So, uh, yeah, it's important to check out his list and uh, avoid them. So let me read out the list for you guys. And uh, then you guys could check it out. You could probably watch it as I'm reading. It'll be a lot more fun. Anyway, let me get down to the list. Um, I'll probably read the article for you. So it goes a little something like this. I'm going to try to make my Sam Beckwith voice, which is probably not that uh, similar, but I'll try it. I don't even know what his voice is like. I forget. My memory sucks. All right, anyway. DHT inhibitors. This is a list I'm compiling of products containing high quantities of lauric, oleic, and linoleic acid. Three fatty acids that have been proven through scientific study to inhibit the production of DHT. Some also contain other components that allow them to inhibit DHT production in a different way. For example, coconut, uh, coconut oil inhibits DHT topically because of its lauric acid content, but it also inhibits DHT when ingested because of its beta testosterone content. Uh, I didn't know that, and I bet you guys didn't know that either. And I bet you're not loving my uh, Sam Beckwith accent or uh, way of speaking because it's terribly off, but for some reason that's the accent that I do for everybody. Uh, that's, oh well. Anyway, it, let me continue. Keep in mind that this is not a complete list, so just because something does not appear on here does not necessarily mean it does not inhibit DHT. You see? So the list is good. Check it out. Um, there might be a couple things out there, and as time goes by, we'll continue to update uh, the list. So uh, just keep on checking it out from time to time. Anyway, so we begin with the list of DHT inhibitors. And it's going to be color-coded. So if you guys are checking out the article, you'll see uh, the color coded from not, potent, uh, from not potent to very potent. So it's really neatly organized there and uh, colored, so it's really cool. Anyway, the first one on the list is amla oil with linoleic acid, uh, linoleic acid. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but anyway, this has a linoleic acid of 51%, which is in the uh, above the mid-range of potency, and it's got a uh, oleic acid of 26.4%, which is in the mid-range. Uh, argan oil has oleic acid of 42 to 48 percent and linoleic acid of 30 to 38 uh, percent. We also have apricot kernel oil. I'm not going to read the percentage to all of them because that's just a lot of damn reading. So you guys could go ahead and check out the percentages, but I'll give you the list anyway. All right, so we have apricot, uh, apricot kernel oil. Uh, we have avocado oil. Uh, yep, avocado. And even ingested. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we have black cumin seed oil. That's a funny word, black cumin. Anyway, that's a DHT inhibitor, so avoid black cumin. Um, seed oil. 
Yeah, that's a funny word. Uh, coconut oil, guys. And this one fooled me for a while because I didn't know better at the time. I just said, hey, coconut oil is good for the hair. It's good for the beard, right? So I just started pour, putting it everywhere. And uh, turns out it's not good. So good thing I ran out because I was being stubborn about it. And I said, I don't give a damn. I already bought it, so I'm going to use it. And I did. I used it until I ran out. Uh, but yeah, probably slowed down my gain. So uh, let's avoid these kind of stupid, stubborn ideas. Anyway, uh, we have copper peptides, which is one that I see asked a lot. We have corn oil, cottonseed oil, emu oil, evening prime rose oil. Grapeseed oil is very commonly used in a lot of beard products. So check out your beard oils. If you buy one of those fancy little beard oils, check the ingredients because a lot of these oils um, <clears throat> have grapeseed oil on account that they don't know about our journey so they don't know that we need all the help that we can get and these little uh, DHT inhibitors kind of ruin it for us so uh, yeah check that out um, we have green tea oil we have hazelnut oil hemp seed oil is another one that I see commonly used so be careful with the hemp seed oil we have the cuckoo nut oil Kukui nut oil, sorry, lavender oil, which is another common one, uh, macadamia oil, olive oil, uh, poppy seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, pigeon bark, roeship seed oil, and one that's very commonly seen and asked about the rosemary oil. It's one uh, uh, I see a lot about this one, and I've seen it used in many oils as well, so avoid rosemary oil. Uh, safflower oil, sao palmetto, another popular one. Sesame oil, shea butter, soybean oil, a lot, uh, a very common one as well. Also, soy foods. Yep, ingested soy food, so uh, careful with them. Uh, stinging nettle root, sweet almond oil, also very common. I've seen that in so many damn products, but uh, they don't know better. Uh, tomato oil, tea tree oil, walnut oil, and finally but not least, we have wheat germ oil. And like it said in the beginning of the article, just because it's not on this list does not mean that it doesn't inhibit DHT. So, uh... This is just a uh, handful of what's out there that we're aware of, but there's plenty more out there. So uh, we'll continue to make our research and update the list. That way you guys check it out every now and then and see if uh, whatever product you're interested in is on the list. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. That's uh, really all I had to say. I mean, I didn't really say anything original. I just said what Sam Beck with uh, research, which is... Uh, very good stuff, so uh, make sure you check out the article for yourself and get your information now, right? Uh, I'm Basic Ali, this is The Beard Spot, and um, that's pretty much it. I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm going to have my breakfast. Can't watch TV because I don't have cable until, until I pay, which will be after work probably. So I'll just have breakfast and probably work on the website a little bit. Need to write a new article. Um, let me know if you guys have any articles in mind that you guys want to see on the page, post it down below, and I'll, uh, I'll start writing about that topic. Uh, the re the, the latest one I did was on, um, the condition of alopecia barbet, so that's a interesting thing to, to see. Uh, I also wrote another one on, uh, beard shapes. I'll be uploading those pretty soon. Uh, we also have the forum, guys, so don't forget about the forum, and... Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that little like hand, and a comment. Uh, have fun answering comments. It's always fun to reply to you guys, so make sure you guys leave your comment down below. Um, go into the website, register to the website. Um, trying to make this thing grow, man. Trying to get this thing grow. Upload your journeys, put your pictures up, and let's, uh, let's make the community continue to grow that way it becomes easier for people to find information in the near future so that's pretty much it i'm basic ali and you guys could go ahead and do whatever it is that you like doing but do it well do it with dedication and be constant about it so if you're on your journey apply that constant um routine that your um that behavior style lifestyle you're doing to apply to everything else and it, it'll work out man it, it's good stuff um uh, by the way i just want to mention this uh, I know it's done with and whatnot, but I think it's very important for me to say. And I'm not, I'm not all about politics, but uh, Andre Ward did not win that fight. He did not win. Kovalev took it. He knocked him down, and he won pretty much every single round. So uh, 
Andre Ward did not win yesterday's fight. And that's the bottom line. I don't care who said it was even or anywhere near close. Those judges need to be retired. We're talking about judges who have been there for 30 years who clearly, but clearly, can't see anymore. So if you want to save the sport of boxing, go complain and tell these people to get new judges. We need new people with two eyes. That's fine if uh, if these guys are veterans and they've done their thing. Let them go home and watch it on TV. That's it. Stop putting these judges in the in the uh, next to the ring because they're ruining boxing. That's why UFC is so, uh, so much better now because we see action. And most of the time it doesn't even have to go to the judges, which is all right, which is cool. I mean, I still love boxing and I'm still going to love it more than I do uh, the UFC. But I would like to see people win on a based on what they do, right? Not based on what three old guys decided was fair. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys thought I was going to talk about the elections, but I wasn't. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'm Basic Ali, and I'm basically out of here because I'm hungry. Bye-bye.